Welcome to this sixth Java video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be discussing loops and how to use them in your programs. But first I'd just like to say thank you for all the positive comments you've um, left for me. Yeah, I really appreciate it and it just gives me more motivation to uh, create more of these tutorials. So as always let's open up Notepad. And we'll just create a simple class called loops. Okay, and we'll do everything inside the main method. Okay. Right. We're ready to start. Okay. First, I'm going to explain to you the while loop. Okay. The while loop allows you, well, all loops allow you to, uh, repeat a statement until a certain condition is met. So, uh, for example, I'm just going to create two integers, y, and that will equal 0, and int x equals 10. Okay, and then I can use the keyword while, then in parenthesis, the uh, conditional statement, so y is less than x. We learnt about conditional statements in the if statement tutorial. Conditional statement is just something that um, uh, returns a true or false value, so y is less than x, that can either be true or false. If, um, if you remember, we've got less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, greater than, equal to, not equal to, etc, etc. Now just stick with less than. Okay, and then inside this block of code we just write the statements that we uh, want to repeat over and over again so it, um, y is less than x okay so I'll print that out until y is greater than x well y is equal to x actually so we've got that, but if we compile that now this would create a never ending loop because y will always be less than x because the value of y won't change so we want to tell every time it loops through to add one extra to y and to do that we do y and then plus plus okay um, that's more confusing than it really is all that does, y++, plus plus, is a, just a shorthand way of saying y equals y plus 1. Okay? So that's just exactly the same, it just adds 1 to y. Okay? Plus plus. So now let's compile that. Oops, the Java, there we go. Replace it. Add it. Compile it. Hopefully there's no errors. There we go. And loops. Okay, you see that that loops through this section of code and prints y is less than x. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Okay, so that is the basic while loop. While loops, oh, well, any loops are used a lot in programming. Um, they they form the core of the program really. Um. Yeah, that's the while loop. Of course, the code inside here will get a lot more complicated, and um, you can nest these while loops. So I could actually have while, and then another while, and then inside it, and etc. etc. But that's really the while loop. Okay, so now the do while loop. The do while loop is exactly the same as the while loop except the con the uh, statements inside the loop will run at least once so there we go and then we want to add one to uh, y okay then while y is less than x Okay, so what that does is exactly the same, 
it just before it tests this condition to see if it's true or false it will still run this code so um, if you want to make sure something runs at least once mm, use this okay so if we compile that you'll see it does exactly the same thing there we go exactly the same this is um, useful um, like in a when you're asking for user input and you want to see if it's valid user input um, you, you want to ask them for user input at least once and then you want to test the condition to see if their input is valid so I don't know let's say we wanted to ha we ha if we had a method called is valid oh it not valid would be better and then whatever their input is this is just a method I'm making up it's not actually a real method obviously and then um, enter a number okay so then it would ask them to enter a number and then test the input and if that returns true then it will ask them again if it's not valid it will ask them again but if it is valid it will just move on to the next section of code okay so we still want to ask them at least once because they need to enter an input but then if it's it is valid it will just go come out the loop okay so that's a do while loop right and finally on to for loops for loops are the most common loop you will use they are so much they are, they are, they are really really useful um, basically um, you can see up here we've got in in y and in x with a for loop we don't need this y we can actually declare that inside the loop so for example for and then the uh, this is this first bit of the um, parameters of the for loop is called the initialization, which it, we in this case int y equals zero, and then while y is less than x, and then the which is the condition, and then the increment which is y plus plus, not x. Okay, and then system dot out dot print ln y is less than x okay as you can see uh, this will do exactly the same things as the others have done and I'll just run through that for you um, the keyword for says it's a for loop and then this bit is in the initialization which says um, that y equals zero and that's what's known as well not known as but it's it it's what's going to be incremented because each loop needs to have something that in increments otherwise it will just go on forever and ever unless you want a loop that goes on forever and ever of course so that's that and then the con then a semicolon don't know if you can't see that that is actually a semicolon between that and then it's the condition which is y is less than x then another semicolon then the increment which in this case is y plus plus which is just y plus one um, we can also use y um, plus equals 5, that will just add 5 to y um, what this plus equals means is just another shorthand um, way of saying y equals y plus 5 it just saves time really so that's all that means but um, you can use any mathematical operator with that um, times equals, it just times itself by whatever and so forth but for this one we just want y plus plus and I'll just save that compile it and that does exactly the same thing again okay so that's a for loop um, you may be a bit confused about this for loop um, just test it out a couple of times you'll get used to it it is the most common loop you'll see in other people's programs because it's it, it just is much more useful um, that's about it really for loops I mean um, you really need to understand loops because they're just such a core part of every program you're going to make 
um, whether it's testing something like user input or a game if you make a game you need to loop the game the game statements until the player has won so otherwise it's going to be a long 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 code if you don't use loops um, that's about it just test make sure you do actually make make a couple of programs with loops in I mean I think most people are the same when it comes to programming you can look at as many tutorials as you want you can read as much as you want you can watch as much as you want but you won't you, you'll take it in but then a week later if you don't make your own programs and test it out you will have forgotten it it's all about just mucking around testing things out so just test the loops out really that's all I can say if you don't then uh, you're just gonna forget okay so next time I'm not sure what I'll teach you probably some maybe some more advanced object oriented programming or 